Here's our final question, Ampel. Do you know what Ampel is? Ampel is a German word for stoplight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Traffic light weighing 122 newtons hangs from a cable tied to two other cables fastened to a support. The upper cables makes angles of 37 degrees and 53 degrees with the horizontal. These upper cables are not as strong as the vertical cable and will break if the tension in them exceeds 100 newtons. Will the traffic light be remain hanging in this situation or will one of the cables break? So yon, interesting question, right? So ang tanong, um, will either T1 or T2 break in this problem or hindi naman? Or safe tayo na hindi malalaglag yung traffic light natin? Quest, uh, so, I'll be giving you a minute to solve this and I'll show you the solution after some time. Okay? Okay, so two to three minutes have elapsed. Let's solve this problem. So, you have again a traffic light weighing 122 newtons that's hanging on a cable tied to uh, two other cables. So, the first thing that you need to do is to draw the free body diagram. So, draw the free body diagram. So, when we draw the free body diagram, anong lalabas? So, gagamit ulit ako ng big pen, red pen. So, and then, um, the T3 here, the T3 here, sandali, before I use that, sandali, balik ako sa block. This T3 here won't matter. Kasi ang mangyayari lang dyan, pwede mong isipin yan na, um, uh, pwede lang, since it's a tout string, we will assume that this is a tout string, dayuluyan lang siya ng force. So, hence, this won't matter. Ang pwede mong ilagay dyan, pwede mo siyang i-substitute ng total weight ng traffic light. Tama? Therefore, I won't write the T3 in my free body diagram. I'll write instead the weight of the of the of the traffic light. So yon. So going back to my color, my red, my big red color. So um ang gagawin ko, I'll draw free, um given na assigned na yung mga tension. So um for T2, this looks like this one. Ganyan. Tapos yung T1 ay Medyo mas mahaba. Uh, there's a reason but mas mahaba siya. Uh, wait lang. Um, hindi masyadong nag-make sense. Dapat medyo mas matangkad pa siya ng konti. Tapos yung T1, dapat um, medyo mas mahaba like that. Nakuha. So yan. Tapos yung weight is pointing as obviously downward. So pa ganyan. Okay? So ito, tapos ito. Um, tapos ito. Straight line dapat yan. Straight line yan. Then I will construct a coordinate system that looks like this. So, um, parang ganito. Centered at the, um, at, the, uh, at the point where we want our, our dot. So, yan. Tapos yung mga color. So, ito. This is T2. And this is T1. At tapos ito. Wait. Tama? Nakuha? Now, yes, dito, pansinin nyo, yung angle ay andito sa top. Right? So, this is 53. This is 37. Pero remember your vertical angle theorem, right? So, this angle here, is this equal with this angle here? Or complementary ba sila? So, parallel to, di ba? Parallel yan. Therefore, if this is this angle, alternate interior angle sila. And therefore, this is, let's say this is theta, equals 53.0 degrees. Okay? And further dito, ganun din. For us, I will write, write this as P is 37.0 degrees. Nakuha? Nakuha ba? Nakuha? Yes, sir. Yan. Medyo palakihan ko siya para mas kita yung variables. So, ayan. Sige. So, ayan. Nakuha? So, yan. Now, Okay, so we ha now have our tensions, we now have our angles, and we can determine the equation of motion. We want what we want is for the tension one and tension two to be less than 100 newtons each. Yun yung gusto natin para hindi magbreak for the um, ropes not to break. Rope or ropes not to break. So we will check if T is less than 100 newtons kapag nakuha natin yun. So the um the weight of the object is 122 newtons. So, tapos, ang mangyayari, so what we want is to um uh, set up, setting up the equation of motion. We have, ano yan? 
So from our free body diagram, summation of forces. So we need to decompose this one. We also need to decompose this one um, into x, x and y components. So ang lalabas dyan ay summation of forces acting on x for this particular object is just equal to what? You want this to be at rest, so zero to. And hence, um, since lahat naman sila with respect to x, wala tayong problem sa angles. And therefore, T2, um, cosine of um, theta minus T1 sine of, i uh, sorry, cosine of T. Tama? Remember, so in that case, yung tension 1 tsaka tension 2 ay nagkokontrahan in the in the vertical in the horizontal direction nagkokontrahan sila whereas in the vertical direction nagsasama sila kinokontra nila yung weight okay therefore so for the y direction on the other hand summation of forces acting on y is also zero which is just equal to t2 sine theta plus t1 um sine phi minus mg tama tama now, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Ang gagawin ko, I'll solve, since both T1 and T2 are unknown, uh, we need two equations. These are, this will not satisfy, will now satisfy the needs for two equations. And what I will do is to solve T2 in terms of T1 in equation 1. So we get something like a T2 equals T1 cosine phi all over cosine theta. This is equation 3. Nakuha? Nakuha bakit? Nilipat ko lang yung T1 cosine phi sa kabilang side. Tapos dinivide ko both sides by cosine theta. Kaya nakuha to? Kuha to? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, substituting equation 3 to equation 2, we have... Um, the, uh, ilipat ko na yung mg sa kabilang side. So we have mg is just equal to T1 cosine phi over cosine theta multiplied by sine theta plus T1 sine Tama? Tama? Yes, sir. And then, note here, I have, I have a cosine in the numerator. I, 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 sorry. I have a cosine in the denominator. I have a sine in the numerator. So, pwede ko silang i-divide. I get a tangent function. And this means that I also can um, isolate my T, T1 or factor out my T1. So, you have an mg equals T1 quantity tangent theta cosine phi plus sine phi. Tama? And thus, T1 is now equal to the weight of the object all over sine phi plus tangent theta cosine phi. And this is just equal to 122 newtons all over. Uh, my theta is uh, 53 degrees. My phi is 37. So we have sine 37 plus tangent 53 cosine 37. And therefore, T1, uh, this this means that T1, therefore T1, one can show that T1 is just equal to 73.4 newtons. So, nakuha? Okay. And this is less than 100 newtons. Therefore, T1 do not break. What about T2? Um, again, from equation 1, from equation 1, Ay, meron na tayong equation niya na nagre-relate sa T2 tsaka sa T1, which is equation 3. From, for, so from, from equation 3, we have T2 equals, equals T1 cosine, cosine phi over cosine theta, which is just 73.4 newtons, multiplied by cosine ni 37 degrees over cosine ni 53 degrees. And hence, we get something like, therefore, T2 is equal to 97.4 newtons, which again is less than 100 newtons. So hence, in conclusion, so the bottom line is both P1 and uh, both the two ropes pala, will not break. Okay? May tanong dito sa question na to? May tanong? Sir, hmm. sir kapag po ba sa FQ, alimbawa, sir, sir, kailangan pang ipakita yung pag-solve or pwedeng sinolve lang sa equation system of equation solver ng CalQ? Uh, depending on the context. So kung kaya naman solve sa calculator, then fine. You can solve it in calculator. But yes, we will see next less, like, next lectures, puro algebra, isusulat ko dyan. Walang numbers. <laughs> kaya, magsasolve ka by hand. 
for you to learn how to solve it by hand. Kasi kailangan niyo rin yan. Okay. So, pero kung given na yung value, sir, pwedeng ilagay ko na lang, pwedeng ang ilagay ko na lang na solution, sir, yung pag-set up ng equations, the solving both equations simultaneously. Yes, that's fine. Okay. That's fine with me. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, so other, uh, okay, other questions? Sir, hindi po ba pwedeng ibahin natin yung axis? Yung T1 po yung magiging uh, y-axis, yung T2 po yung magiging x-axis. Since 90 degrees naman po yung angle in between. Actually, it's also a possibility. Pwede mo rin gawin. But kaya siya hindi ginawa rito kasi uh, I think the reason is medyo mas complicated yung decomposition of weight. Yun yung reason. Pero it's also possible. I can also do that. No? Pero yeah, hindi ko na pinakita. Thank you. Yes. Ang criteria lang is dapat orthogonal sila. Which is correct. Tama yung sinabi mo na perpendicular naman yan eh. Okay lang. Yeah. Gets? Pwede yun. That's an alternative approach. Which you can try. <laughs> Other questions in this particular item? Okay? Walang tanong? Walang tanong? Okay. 